Up next, Timmy talks with Greg Cohen, the CEO of Fortis, on our latest embedded podcast about the myths that surround becoming a payback. Um, I have a belief that there's kind of this omni-channel approach that there's not one train that you're really on. You're running, you know, multiple modes of transportation, be it flight, <laughs> no pun intended, <laughs> be it a train, be it automobile, a bike, whatever it might take. We need all vehicles accessible to us. So kind of debunking the, the myth of, uh, you know, payfac or that you have to be a payfac, you, you know, versus the facilitation of payments is something I'd love to hear your perspective on as well. Yeah, I I agree. I hate to say I always agree with you, Toby, but I, I do. And I think uh, I think the whole construct of I have to be a payback got way ahead of itself. It was a buzzword. Investors picked up on it. Um, software providers picked up on it. And all this stuff got thrown at it. Now, where I agree with it, the, the concept is if you flip the terms around, um, that every most software providers should be a facilitator of payments within their software, right? Especially, I mean, if you're conducting, if you're doing commerce, you have to be do payments, right? Nobody, nobody wants to pay, right? People want to shop and buy. Nobody wants to pay. So, how invisible do you make it? How do you embed it? And how does it work? Um, but the operationalization of being a, you know, a, a payfac as it's known from a card brand standpoint has a huge amount of overhead to take on, right? underwriting, risk, compliance, AML, KYC, you know, everything from that to, I, I got to understand how to, you know, drive adoption in my customer base, all of these things. Oh, by the way, and I have to authorize and settle and all like, and some of these things can be rented from other people as well. But, you know, going full board all the way and being, you know, a registered card brand payback, like that's a lot of, that's a lot of work. I mean, great companies like Stripe, and I know, you know, uh, FIS bought a company called uh, called Payrix, and we offer a kind of what, what I would call a managed, you know, facilitation pro program where you get the same experience, but you don't have to build out that operational infrastructure. And then the other piece I think everybody forgets about, and I always like to point them to some of the public companies. We look at Lightspeed and they always talk about what percentage of their customer base is actually using their payment solution. Look, adoption is so important. You can create this amazing experience, but if nobody uses it, or you don't get enough people using it, it doesn't matter. And I think, you know, everybody assumed that the way that Square went to market was the way to go to market. You throw it out there, click to agree, it's all done. And if you think about where Square started, right, in the super micro merchant base, right, in areas like that, that kind of works. But as you move up into complex verticals, sophisticated merchants, businesses that want to and can negotiate and you talk about how to solution in a true omni-channel environment where someone's got an ERP in the back office, a, you know, a website managed by some other company on the, in, on their web, they've got a call center and you have to make all that stuff work. That's not a click to agree solution. That's you got to get on the phone and solution. And then you talk through it, it all works and people forget about driving adoption. And so when I think about the operation, oper operational capabilities of payments, the adoption of payments, right? And then the monetization of payments, right? And so of course, everyone, every software company needs to monetize in some way, shape or form, but all three of those things need to work in harmony. And I think people have forgot about how hard it is to do some of these things. And quite frankly, that not all merchants are gonna do click to agree. And so you've got to create the right model for your software business, which is directly correlated to the type of industry and the merchants that you deal with.